So we're cruising along here. One thing I want to let you guys know is Josiah, he's not with us today. Josiah, you guys send him your luck because he's in the middle of Canada right now driving up to Alaska in that crazy pickup truck of his with that crazy homemade camper. He's on an adventure of a lifetime. So Josiah won't be with us today, but we're gonna keep on cruising here. We'll get with you guys when we find out what we're doing here. So we're still cruising around. The water's super high. It's gonna be hard to find a place to work. But our buddy, he's way up the road. He's located an area up on the hillside where he's dug down to some bedrock. He's found some pretty nice chunks. So we're gonna cruise up that way and keep test panning, see what we come up with. High water's crazy right now. So this is what we're dealing with for the most part. High, high, high water. I think it registered at 8,000 this morning. So we're gonna keep cruising along, see if we can come up with something. All right, we've arrived at a spot, and I found some good gold here before. The water's up a lot higher, but you can see all the workings and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start looking around, see what I can come up with. I'm gonna start test pen and I'll bring you guys in if we find something. All right, so I sunk my first test pan and it's nothing great. I'm gonna keep looking around because I know there's good gold around here somewhere. But what we got, we got that little piece there. I don't know what the heck I did with it. It's right there, it's nothing special. So I'm gonna keep looking around and I think we'll come up with something better. So we're gonna sink our second test pan into this here tailings pot. You can see these are all old tailings piles. I've dug down here and I got a good pan. It's got some gravels in it. We'll see. We're gonna take that down test pan. So I took test pan out of that tailings pond. I didn't get nothing. I took some more down in here. I've been getting little tiny sprinkles. I've gotten good gold out in here, but I mean, like I said, the water's come up heck five feet or so so i'm over in here now i sunk a test pan i got a little bit of gravels mostly muck some of it's orange i'm gonna hit that one see what it says well i hit that test pan i mean there's some little micros in there but there's nothing that i'm willing to mine the, the good gold's out in here it's way underwater so so i'm gonna hunt around do some more test panning if i find something worthy i'll get back to you guys if not we're gonna head up the road and see what Keith's got going on. I already busted my knuckle open. Shoot, dang. I'm gonna get going on this, see if I can find something. If not, we'll go see what Keith's got going on. So we're down here, we found Keith. He's been locating some pretty chunky little gold. I'll show that to you guys a little later, but. We're gonna go up here and see what he's got going on. Maybe fill up a bucket, bring it down to the water. Hopefully we can get some gold going. All right, so what Keith's got going is he's come up here and he's dug down into this bedrock and he's located some pretty chunky gold. He sent me some pictures of it, it's exciting. So we're gonna get up there. We didn't bring a whole lot, but we're gonna help Keith clean off some bedrock. So you can see Keith, he started digging down in here. And it looks like he's located himself some bedrock and he's been cleaning it off. And it looks like it's pretty good. You got your gravels in there. So we're gonna work away at this. I'm gonna get some into my bucket. I might dig into this over here or maybe help Keith with that. But let's get a bucket and get it down there. He's digging out himself some little crevices he found over here. I've got one going in here. I've dug down. I've got about a bucket's worth of my sled down there. I'm gonna fill up another bucket, get it down to the sled. We'll get that sled filled up with material and we'll go down and test it and see what she says. 
All right, I've dug this bad pony down into here. I've dug into the bedrock, got lots of good gravels and such out of it. I'm gonna get this down to the sled. I'm gonna take it over there and set up some sort of wash plant. See just what we're working with here. All right, so I'm down here. I got my little wash plant set up. I got some of that material off the bedrock. I'm gonna run it. If I don't find nothing, I'm gonna sneak around here and look around, do some test panning, but I think the high water might get the best of us. I'm not sure yet, but. We're gonna see what we got here off that bedrock. Got the wash plant going. Let me get this started. So I ran that sample and it's looking like I was breaking the, the granite bedrock up and then there's lots of river stones in it. So it looks like good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get it cleaned out. We'll see what's in it and we'll see where we go from there. All right, well I got that cleaned up and I got it in the pan. And there's not a whole lot here, but they're nice and chunky. You can see we got one, two, and then some fines over here. But let's get in, see if we can't get a look at that. Come on, focus. Look at that one. That's a real nice piece. It ain't super big. Makes a tiny, tiny sound. But we've got some gold. I'm gonna get over there, get my buckets up there in the sled, and we'll see what we can get. All right, so we're back up here. You guys can see Keith's been digging away. He's on some nice stuff. Look, there's bedrock. There's some gravel right on top. He actually did pretty good. This is a good little spot. Definitely worth some more exploring. We're gonna get another bucket classified up. Raymond's been picking away, got all this dug out. So let's get some more material down there. And so I'm digging in here, and this is what I like seeing as you get down and you're picking at the bedrock and you're pulling out nice gravels, rounded stones. So we're gonna keep brushing this all down and classify it into the bucket and we'll go down there and run it. All right, I got my bucket set in there, classified. I'm gonna climb up and get another bucket coming. And then we'll see what she said. It's looking good. Now you're fine. Looking real good. So we've dug a lot of this out. We've got this mostly cleared off. Keith's gonna vacuum this up later. But I've got about two classified buckets. I'm about to take them down there and see what she says. All right, I'm back down here. I've consolidated two, those two buckets into one super full bucket and one about half full. That's all classified right off the bedrock. So I'm hoping that this clean is gonna be a lot better. And packing those ain't no easy task. You can see, you go all the way up there. I don't know if we can see them. Keith and Raymond are still up there working away. You can see them right in here. So that's how far we got to pack these buckets. So let's get them, let's run it. All right, so I'm gonna fire this bad pony up. We're gonna start running. I think it's gonna do all right. We found some decent gold up here. That last little piece is pretty good. We'll run this through here nice and slow. 
see what we get for our effort. Alright, I run that one half bucket and I run about half of this one. I'm gonna keep running it, get it all tuned up, and we'll see what's in it. Hopefully we got a couple more nice little pickers. Alright, I shut it down here. I'm gonna do a cleanup on it and uh, see what it's holding. Alright, so I got the clean out. Let's see if we can get some shade on that. Son of a biscuit. We got some chunks and these are little picker uppers you know what I mean I can pick them up check them out let's see here they're nothing super spectacular but they're nice little bits so we'll put that in there and there's a little bit of fine gold still in the black sand too I'm gonna get it all snuffed up we'll see what we got out of this cleanup and the last cleanup all right so all in all it wasn't too terrible out of both cleanups that I've done everything I brought down on there let's see we got that covered there we got some little chunks and they're they're not huge but they're you can pick them up like that one there's got some nice definition to it look at that that's a bad pony so it's not terrible I'll take that we'll put it on the scale when we get home and see what it says but I doubt it's gonna tip the scale maybe a point one but uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. I might look around, do some more dinking around, but we'll probably see you guys at the house. I'm gonna take my deal here and just suck up some of this gravel and see if we can't get some material. We'll do some tests on the riverbank here. See what we're working with. Well, as far as the river goes, I didn't find a whole lot. It's up so high you can't get down to the good gravel. But we're going to take what we got and get it back to the house. We're going to dink around here a little more, but I'm going to quit filming. I'll see you guys at the house. We'll weigh up those little pieces we got. They're chunky. We'll see. I'm thinking we might have gotten a point one, point two, maybe. So let's see. We'll see you guys at the house. You definitely don't want to fall in. So the high water's kind of kind of screwing us, but we still got up and found some gold. And I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you at the house. We'll put that on the scale, see what it looks like. All right, I got it back home. I'm not going to attempt to put it on the scale because there's just not a whole lot there. But you can see there's a couple chunky little bits, a couple little chunkers. And they're nice and chunky, but I think with the miles we drove, and the amount we worked, I think I'll stick to the riverbanks until something real good comes along. But I want to say thank you guys for coming along and checking out the video. You didn't get a whole lot of gold, but it sure is good looking gold. So thank you guys for coming along.